Including your dick. How about you, Shay? Okay. But is your dick working? <laughs> Get your vagina. B. Agina. B. A G I N A. Vagina. Really glad nobody hears this part of the show. That's for sure. Welcome everyone to the Chomp Cast, the official podcast of SwordChomp.com. Thank you for downloading or streaming our podcast, taking some time out of your busy life to listen to us. And remember, if you're digging the show, please subscribe or leave us a rating wherever you download your podcast. Uh, it really helps us reach a bigger audience. Uh, one of the biggest shows of the year today. It's going to be a great time. I'm super excited. But let's introduce the crew real quickly, your hosts. Uh, from Japan, we have Mr. Shay Layton. Hello, Shay. Hello, hello, hello there. Glad to have you here, uh, Mr. Shea Abata, um, from Michigan. Uh, once again, in the process of moving, we have the one and only Joshua Fowler. How you doing, Josh? Hello, hello, hello. I'm all right. Doing okay. Podcasting in a new location once again, so... So many weeks we can do Every this week. in a row. <laughs> That's the new gimmick. Every week, Josh, you podcast from a new and unknown location. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah. So uh, thank you for being here, Josh. Glad you could make it. The Space Cowboy himself. And, of course, from the heartland of America, we have the lovable fish himself, Anthony Fisher. How you doing, fish? Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Glad glad to have you this week, my friend. Uh, and of course, I am your host, Morgan Barnes, a.k.a. General Mountain Time. Did not forget to introduce myself this week, so it's a good start to the show. Um, quick rundown of today's topics. We have the full results and discussion around our social media polling for the greatest modern Final Fantasy game. Um, So we'll get to talk some Final Fantasy. As you guys know, on the Instagram and on Twitter, we have been polling Final Fantasy all week, getting the community involved. It's been a lot of fun, so we'll be talking about that and using some of the user feedback, user comments as well, user feedback, uh, listener comments, the users, we're all users. Um, And uh, we have some Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy talk, which uh, Shay might appreciate, among other people, hopefully. Um, (laughs) Uh, We'd hope. (laughs) We, somebody will appreciate the Crash Bandicoot talk. Um, Until Dawn, me and Fish played a little Until Dawn, which is one of the free games this week on the PlayStation Plus. And uh, I want to ask Josh about the, how he feels about the new Overwatch character they announced and Doomfist. And, of course, I have a question for Fish about some new Destiny content they released. Um, it's going be, it's, it's to be an awesome show. Uh, but the topic of the show... To kind of get us warmed up, break the ice a little bit. It's going to be a fun one. And that is, this is a topic Shay sent me a couple weeks ago uh, that I thought would be a good time for us to use. And the topic is this, just a, just a fun one. If we could place each host of the show inside a video game world for one week, what game world would that be and why? So we're just going to kind of go around and just have fun with it. You know, If we could put each other into whatever game world it is for a week, and what is the reasons for why we'd put him in that one? And I, I don't think this, this could go really well and this could be a disaster. So I, I'm optimistic. Um, it should be a really fun time. Uh, so, man, we got a lot to get to today so we can get right down to it. All right, so I, I figured I would help kind of break the ice a little bit on this one because I know it's kind of a, a little bit out of the norm for you guys. Um, so I was trying to think about where to start. And I, I think I'll start with you, Fish. Are, are you okay with that? Yeah, that's fine. As in, I will direct my first one toward you. Um, Lay it on me. So, 
<laughs> I'm going to lay it on you. So I, I, as you guys know, I've known fish my whole life. So, you know, I don't know how you guys approach this, um, but I, whenever I sat down to do this, I wanted to make it a little more fun because, yeah, I know the games you guys love, and I could generically say, oh, I'll throw Josh in Zelda because he loves Zelda, or I'll throw Shay in Skyrim because he loves Skyrim, but that's, that's not fun, and plus that's what they would place themselves in anyway. So I wanted to use this as almost like a weird sort of like therapy thing or like sort of a, a trial by flaw sort of, um, <laughs> you know, like you're going through the trials and becoming out a better person. So I started to think about all you guys and my friends and how long I've known you. And with Fish, as me and Fish always joke about on the side, um, one of the most repressed individuals I've ever met in my life, as you admit to, right, Fish? Oh, this is true. Hundred <laughs> percent truth going on right now. So far, so far, so far. As Josh would say, not slightly repressed. Josh, fully repressed mm-hmm. um, for a lot of reasons. Uh, you know, from the dead end jobs to you know getting locked down in the relationship early in life. Not necessarily bad things, but <laughs> didn't really get to experience a lot. Dead end jobs. That sounds horrible. <laughs> God, well, I you need to rephrase that. Okay. Um, Fish is going to realize exactly how much his life sucks after tonight. You, we we should have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Maybe you should start with Shay, I think. <laughs> He's going to go cry, cry for a while. The rest of the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, rest of mean, the episode would, is just going to be me sobbing. <laughs> I would say most of us have probably had to some degree a, a fairly dead-end job. It's not an insult by any means, uh, but, you know, it's not. I mean, let's put it this way. Do you want to be – wherever your current job is, uh, do you want to still be there, let's say, 10 years from now? Uh, no. Yeah, but I think a lot of people work jobs that – they don't necessarily like and that's kind of a fact of life not everybody can have you know a dream job but <clears throat> yeah yeah come to they call those dead-end that jobs that's what, they, <laughs> that's what they call those <laughs> <laughs> dead-end jobs no, you make a fucking living out of it you, you you enjoy your time off from that job i guess yeah i mean somebody's got to shovel that pig shit <laughs> so, and, that's and right. that is true that is true uh and to each their own. So before we get too psyched, God damn it, this is exactly what I'm talking about. Um, so I was thinking about, like, if for fun, what world I put fish in. And after thinking about it for a while, I settled on this. What's the one world fish where you can engage in the most debauchery, and violence, murder, uh, gratuitous sex, and just <laughs> crazy circumstances that one life could handle? What game would that be, fish? Oh, GTA? That's it! Ding, 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 ding! Nice. <laughs> You're going to throw me in GTA. <laughs> that's Essentially right. a fucking crazy world that's very much like our real world. Slightly exaggerated, um, but I guess for the sake of the fantasy, you can do whatever you want, right? So um, that that is the brilliance of it, I guess. I, I, couldn't, I thought it'd be kind of funny I couldn't settle on a GTA because GTA 3 would be kind of fun. Uh, just because I, the amount thought of you rolling around listening to like some 90s rap in like 90s California with a bunch of gangsters just brings a smile to my face. Uh-huh. Um, I'm glad that you went this oh, yeah. direction, Morgan. It makes me happy. Okay, that's good. <laughs> okay, that, that's a good start. Because um, I want Fish to just come back. I want Fish to be like a changed man when he comes back, just like to the real world, just like chain-smoking cigarettes, just like I've seen some shit, guys. I've seen some shit. I've done some shit I'm not proud of. And... uh I think that'd be cool. How do you feel about that fish? I, I like it. Hell yeah! I've I would love to just visit, you know, some house in the middle of the night and just ransack through there, and the guy just pops up and starts shooting at me, and I just blow his brains <laughs> all over the place. Whoa! And I take his Whoa. TV. That's okay. That's the first. I was going to ask you, what's the first thing you do whenever you start your life? Let's say, let's say you're placed into this grand, this so you, grand theft auto so you're, you're, world. You're, Jesus, you're he's kill a guy in a for video a game. TV. Yeah, he takes takes a guy's TV in Hell a video yeah. game. What, what what are you going to do with that TV? Are you going to play video games? It's just like, <laughs> it's like, it's just like might, Black Friday. I might Friday. need it for a side mission. Mm-hmm. I'm just I'm gonna I'm gonna play it like Skyrim where I just pick up everything in the <laughs> in the room you know and just yeah. hoard it away and yeah. then eventually I will need it. I still it think that uh, killing him is probably overkill. Just put a just put a bucket on his head or something. He won't even notice you're there. No, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If the AI on them's a little retarded, mm-hmm. then, yeah. Well, retarded is not the that's not PC fish. Come on, <laughs> fuck. What is Mentally GTA? <laughs> We we know better here. 
Um, yeah, so what's the first thing you do? And then we can move on. First thing you do, Fish, I place you in the Grand Theft Auto world. Um, what are you doing? Okay, so um, where'd you place me? What? I, that's <laughs> come on, you, you made on. this fucking world. <laughs> okay, I placed <laughs> entrance here. God damn it! Uh, all right, I, you've 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 gone Terminator style, where you've been birthed naked, um, right in the middle of a strip club. <laughs> what? Hell yes! He'd just stay there. <laughs> I mean, that seems like <laughs> I'd go up to the coolest looking dude that I thought had the coolest clothes on and be like, "I need your hat, sunglasses, jackets, <laughs> and pads. You can totally the do boots. that." <laughs> After I get is. after I get my cool get up, then I uh, I quickly rob the bartender. Um, okay. And if I'm not kicked out by then, I'll uh, of course throw all that money at the strippers because, um, yeah, that I would I would fall in love with them right off the bat. I mean, naked women right there on the dance floor. We'll yeah. fall in love. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Right. This is exactly why I did not want to place. I'm placing you in this world to avoid that. Okay, fish. Oh, okay. Plus, you so, just fell in there so. completely naked. Um, I think your chances are significantly lower than you're estimating. Oh, oh wait, whoa, burn. whoa, whoa. <laughs> Zambo. This is this is my world now. Oh, okay. So. All right. Oh, oh that's true. You, so you fall into that world man. with with the governor's body. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, the, the character creator on this is a little ambiguous, but let's say we gave where fish is well endowed with our character creator. Huh. Yeah, I moved that slider all the way to max. <laughs> Sl- slider. <laughs> to ma- max package. Uh, okay. Well, uh, but yeah, it would just I would just see how much I could get away with. I guess I would I would run up to like the coolest looking car, just punch out the dude in the. I would play it just like a GTA game where somebody's just, you know, fucking around, essentially. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I would just play it just like GTA and just cause as much mayhem as possible to see what what I could do before I actually die. I, I like the full rundown of starting in the, the strip club, you know, pace by pace. So you, that that's a good one, Fish. You'd be, you'd be thinking about that one day when we make this all reality somehow. Um, what about you, Shay? What do you have for Fish? Um, I had to think about this one for a little while. I originally was thinking, you know, kind of along the same lines that you were. And I would place him in the Mass Effect world because it kind of seems Fuck yeah. like Hell in line yeah. with, what, with what Fish would want. Um, he'd be able to sleep with different alien creatures until he found one that he loved. Presumably Jack, even though she's human. And then... Um, Are you sure? He would be able to... <laughs> was that I canon? Was crazy. I don't know. I mean, I ostensibly, sure but... Yeah. Debatable. Debatable. But, uh-huh. um... Yeah, I would... I would probably pl- place him there for that reason, and also because he, um... Get to explore a really cool world. He, presumably, we're gonna put him as the commander or a captain of some ship. That way, he can come out of his shell and be a badass in this world and save the planet. Have a nice, sweet gal on, on his arm or guy. Wait, save the planet? I, I want to save the fucking universe. <laughs> Whoa! Well, Whoa! In the third well, one, in true. the third that's one, true. we're saving Earth. Oh fuck Earth! I thought Earth died. <laughs> well, Are you sure you want to put him in this world, Shay? Because he's saying goodbye he's, to Earth I've, real quick. I've, I've immediately I've recanted. I know. Yeah. He in hasn't even point. finalized his character, and he's already I, I'm dead got like serious. eight points in Renegade. <laughs> I'm I'm already yeah. I, I'm taking him out of this world. He's already ruined it. You're getting put in Duke Nukem world. Where you? The dick, the dick I, I, sliders I'm going backwards kidding. I'm not now. kidding. I'm not kidding. You're going into Duke Nukem with that comment. Enjoy the hot babes and Shake blowing them, baby. That's right. There you go. Duke Nukem's for you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Wait, can you do that one more time, Fish? Shake them, baby. That's not bad. It's not bad. 